Hi, my name is Anita Itali. I'm a research associate in the materials group and I work with Professor Steve Eichen. My work to date can be characterized as falling within the three areas, in the areas of materials, technology, risk perceptions, and I've also done some work in public engagement. This is Johannesburg, a city that has been home to me for a little over a decade now. Known locally as Igoli or the City of Gold, Johannesburg developed as a result of gold mining in the 1800s. But mining also resulted in serious environmental pollution and contamination of surface and groundwater by a host of elements, including mercury, uranium, and arsenic. As with many such large conurbations, there are many residents without access to services, including water, and these populations end up relying on surface and groundwater, and in the case of Johannesburg, this can have serious health implications as the water can be heavily contaminated. To address this challenge, I have been investigating the use of adsorbents and thin film membranes for small scale water treatment. Here we found that functionalization of graphene oxide with phosphate groups improved uranium adsorption and that the materials worked well even in the presence of other ions as would be the case in mine drainage. We have also explored the use of waste materials in order to bring the costs down. Cellulose from hemp was used as a support for iron oxide adsorbents, and the materials were tested for the removal of arsenic and chromium-6. We found that just four grams of the material would be needed to treat a liter of water containing these two ions. I have put this here to show our findings about how experts and lay people or consumers can often have very different priorities when thinking about the risks presented by a new technology, even if this was to solve, was meant to solve an important challenge like water contamination. This word cloud represents our findings from interviews with researchers and members of a community that we envisioned as potential users of the nanomaterial enabled water treatment solutions. And we can see that while experts were most concerned about risks in the laboratory and to the environment, consumers or lay people, at least in the community that we worked in, were concerned about whether they would be able to afford the solution, be able to pay for it, and whether they would fall ill in case they had to consume the nanomaterials. I have also, uh, here I also share materials that I created for school going children for this community with the aim of introducing the concepts of nanomaterials to them and to enable them to see themselves as participants and as able to make changes to the environment using new technologies. At the BCI, I will develop further the competencies I just mentioned to develop and optimize functionalized cellulose adsorbent materials. A second part, an important part of my role will be involvement in EDI activities to promote STEM engagement in schools and develop materials for science education. I now wish to thank all the organizations that have funded my work to date including Volkswagen Foundation and the Royal Society under the Flair Fellowship and the many researchers and students that have contributed to the work that I have just presented.